Good morning, dear students. Today we are dealing about the biology chapter, cell biology and biotechnology. Already this chapter, some parts of this chapter, we have uh, listened, we have taken in the class, but due to lockdown, uh, again I am teaching this chapter. So, about cell biology and biotechnology, in this chapter we are dealing about stem cells. But before that, what is cell biology? Cell biology is a branch of science that deals with the study of cells and their structure. So, what is question arises? What is the cell? As we have seen, cell biology, the branch of science or the branch of biology that deals with the study of cells and their structure. What is cell? Cell is the structural and functional unit of living organisms. What is cell? Cell is the structural and functional unit of living organisms. And in this chapter, we are dealing about stem cells. Last year, in the ninth class, we have studied about the tissue culture. Tissue culture, where some parts of cells of plants they are grown in the laboratory and from that cells new plant is developed and then that plant is grown in the farm and desired characters are brought together in that plant so in the same way steam cells are also special types of cells what are the steam cells what are their characters what are their uses and how they are applied, what are their applications, all this topic we are looking today. So, there are two research organizations about steam cells. One is at Pune and one is at Bangalore, where researches are done about steam cells. So, at Pune, it is National Center for Cell Science National Center for Cell Science also called as NCCS short form National Center for Cell Science and at Bangalore it is called INSTEM these are two research centers in India where the researches about steam cells are done and researches are going on continuously. So, what are steam cells? Before that, listen, all of you know fertilization. Fertilization, we have seen in the third chapter, reproduction. Fertilization is the un union of male and female to form a zygote. Again, listen. Union of male and female gamete to form a zygote is called fertilization. So, when a male gamete combines with female gamete, both are haploid. Haploid means chromosome number is reduced to half. For example, in humans, our chromosome number is 46, so it is 23 and 23. So, I got a definition the union of male and female gamete to form a zygote, and this zygote is deployed. Deployed means now chromosome number is 46. So this is called fertilization. Is a fertilization. And after this zygote is formed, and this zygote, after its development, undergo mitosis or cell division. What is mitosis? We have seen in the second chapter. So it undergo mitosis. 
and then suppose this is zygote for example this is zygote this is diploid then this zygote continuously divides mitotically without change in the chromosome number so from a single cell two cells are formed by mitosis eka cell pasun don cell pranta don cell pasun char cell and large number of cells are formed all cells are undifferentiated and all are alike so the many cells are formed which are alike and there is a undifferentiated mass of cells and this undifferentiated mass of cells is called stem cells samajh mein aata hai so listen fertilization so union of male and female gamete to form zygote is called fertilization so here the sex of the fetus is decided fetus means garbh the sex kind male as and female as so turn like this is zygote is formed and then after formation of zygote immediately it undergoes cell division so from a single cell two cells are formed and then they divide into multiple means from two four four eight and this process continues till so it happens an undifferentiated mass of cells are formed and all cells are alike these cells are called stem cells so that is all about stem cells formation of stem cells so these stem cells are used for the uh, healing of wounds one of the function is healing of wounds zakham bharu karna sa whenever you suffer you are suffering from what happens the cells breaks and they get ruptured it takes place with the help of stem cells one of the example so these stem cells they are used for preparation of different tissues and different organs in the body so these stem cells they are stored they are obtained in the parts of the body not all parts certain parts of the body from them these stem cells are these stem cells are obtained and they are stored in a particular atmosphere so, so they are stored at liquid nitrogen they are stored in liquid nitrogen at minus 135 to minus 190 degree celsius all these stem cells which are collected from their proper source they are stored in liquid nitrogen at a temperature of minus 135 to minus 190 degree celsius and they are stored in sterile vials they are stored in sterile vials sterile means nirjantuk and vials means bottles typical bottles and at the store and this uh steam cells whenever required they are used for the preparation of new cells or new tissues or new organ of that person so that is all about introduction of steam cells now we shall see the types of steam cells depending upon the source there are two types of steam cells the first type of steam cells we shall see is embryonic steam cells the first type is called embryonic steam cells and second is called adult steam cells pehla prakar embryonic steam cells and dusra prakar adult steam cells so what are embryonic steam cells we shall study so we have seen after division of zygote zygote is formed we have seen 
so this zygote they divide like this in multiple and many undifferentiated mass of cells are formed this process continues from 1 to 14 days एक ते चौदिवसापर्यंत काय होतो सेल तिथे सुरू होतो मायटोसिस अँड लार्ज नंबर ऑफ सेल्स आर फॉर्म व्हिच आर अनडिफरेंशिएटेड त्यांच्यामध्ये अजून डिफरेंशिएशन झालेले नाही सो दिस सेल्स आर कॉल्ड स्टीम सेल्स बट ऍज सून ऍज 14 डेज आर पास्ड देन दिस स्टीम सेल्स दे अंडरगो नाउ डिफरेंशिएशन त्यांच्यामध्ये काय होतं डिफरेंशिएशन होतो म्हणजे वेगवेगळे अजून तयार व्हायला सुरुवात होते आणि काय तयार होतो हळूहळू या एम्ब्रिओ एम्ब्रिओ म्हणजे भूल किंवा गर्भ त्याला आकार येतो चौदा दिवसानंतर सो डिफरंट पार्ट आर फॉर्म द फर्स्ट पार्ट विच इज फॉर्म ऑर्गन इज कॉल्ड हेपेटोसाइट ऑल्सो कॉल्ड लिव्हर सेट्स hepatocyte or liver cells then the second part which is formed is called osteocyte also called bone cells and the third part form is called neurons these are the first three organs which start to form just after completion of 14 days and the process starts so hepatocytes osteocytes and neurons are the organs which are formed and from so these cells the embryonic cell before differentiation means before 14 days they are called embryonic stem cells again listen the embryonic stem cells are the cells which are formed before differentiation with ancha made avayava tayar hoyacha avichi je cell kiwa je mass tayar hoto tala manay sir embryonic stem cells so from this stem cells there are about 220 different organs are formed the first two cells 20 organ aplyala तयार करता येतात कशापासून एम्ब्रॉनिक स्टीम सेल पासून आणि हे ऑर्गन तयार झाले म्हणजे काय होतं मग त्याला त्या बाळाला आकार येतो आणि टेक्स नाईन मंथ टू कम्प्लीट ग्रोथ अँड देन इट टेक्स बर्थ सो दॅट इज ऑल अबाउट दी एम्ब्रॉनिक स्टीम सेल्स सो फ्रॉम अ सिंगल मास ऑफ सेल डिफरंट ऑर्गन आर फॉर्म they have capacity of self multiplying and this property of formation of large number of organs from some stem cells which are undifferentiated and they act as parent cells tal ka to apan parent cell bolto tyanche pasun anek prakar che organ tayar hota and this property is called pluripotency this property is called pluripotency so what is pluripotency pluripotency is the property of property in human beings where from all same types of embryonic stem cells different organs are formed after they start to form after 14 days and different organs are formed and then the embryo completely develops and it develops into fetus fetus which is called sign of girl and for the complete growth nine months are required and then it takes birth so this property is called pluripotency so if you want to collect the stem cells so from 5 to 7 days तयार झाल्यापासून पहिल्या दिवसापासून चौदा दिवसापर्यंत काय असतं त्याला म्हणतो आपण स्टीम सेल्स कारण याच्यामध्ये काय अजून डिफरन्सिएशन झालेलं नाही बट बिटवीन फायव्ह टू सेव्हन सेल्स पाचव्या सहाव्या किंवा सातव्या दिवसापर्यंत 
जे स्टेम सेल तैयार होता ते जर आप कलेक्ट के लिए अंडर प्रॉपर कंडीशन एंड की दर स्टोर इन लिक्विड नाइट्रोजन एट माइनस वन फिफ्टी फाइव टू माइनस वन नाइनटी डिग्री सेल्सियस देन दिस स्टेम सेल्स कैन बी स्टोर प्रॉपरली एंड दे कैन बी यूज फॉर फॉर्मेशन ऑफ डिफरेंट व्हाट इज कॉल्ड ऑर्गन्स और सेल्स और टिश्यूज सो इन दिस वे दैट इज ऑल अबाउट एम्ब्रोनिक स्टीम सेल्स so according to source there are two types of stem cells embryonic stem cells adult stem cells now we shall see adult stem cells adult stem cells are the, those cells which are present in adults so uh, there are three sources the first source is red bone marrow the first source is red bone marrow what is bone marrow bone marrow is a mass of cells present in the center of large bone apne je mote hade astat tyacha padar ek mass asto cells which is spongy soft that is called bone marrow so red bone marrow pehla prakar hai dusra hai adipose connective tissue second part adipose connective tissue and third part is blood so these are three sources of formation of स्टीम सेल्स फ्रॉम एडल्ट बोर्ड या तीन सोर्स पास स्टीम सेल तैयार करता है पास प्रोडक्टी पास एंड डिड दिस ब्लड ब्लड कंटेन्स आरबीसी ब्लड कंटेन्स डब्ल्यू बी सी ब्लड कंटेन्स ब्लड प्लेटलेट्स ऑल दीज आर सॉलिड पार्ट ऑफ द ब्लड इन विच वी कैन ऑफ फ्रॉम दिस वी कैन ऑफ एड द Stem cells, so that is called adult stem cell. These are three sources. Along with this, the stem cells are also obtained from umbilic umbilical cord. Some kind of a nerve, gene nerve, kind of thing. Garbala, I see, don't they? This is nerve. Just after birth, the blood which is formed. If that blood collected, in that blood also stem cells are present. So that is fourth source. So these are all sources of adult stem cells. So today we have seen sources of we have seen stem cells, then their properties and their types. So there are two types. First type is embryonic stem cells. Second type is adult stem cells. Embryonic stem cells are those which are collected just after formation of zygote. And if we collect stem cells from five to seven days, then these stem cells can be used for further research. And these researches are going on two centers. We have seen one is at Pune and one is at Bangalore. so that is all for today's topic in the next topic we shall see uses of stem cells in the next chapter or next topic so thanks yes no sir एक